Welcome to the launch of the New South Wales Art Express Virtual Gallery. This immersive VR experience that's being launched tonight is a rich example of how key learning areas in the curriculum can be empowered by modern technologies. Let's now go and meet some of the people that have made this incredible experience possible. It does feel amazing to be here on such an amazing night with amazing people and you know see see everyone's works up close with especially with the VR headset it's so much different than viewing it on a laptop or you know it does make you feel like you're in a space my body of work is about moments that is, that transcend time so i have three portraits of my sister where she's in this like absorbed in her own sort of world and they're moments that, yes, they're like only in one specific time, but at the same time, they transcend time because we remember them. The most important thing to us is staying faithful to the student's vision. That's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to change their purpose. We're not trying to revision it. So we pay attention to the layout diagrams. We try and capture every component of every work. Um, there's a book in, in the gallery this year where you can turn the pages. And you put that on the art gallery, you can't turn the pages. You know, so we, we really sort of have that belief that more so, we're not recontextualizing it, we're doing as good a job as can be done on imaging every single component of every single work in the way the student can then be um, uh, you know, showcased. I think it works best in VR instead of actual photos. Like it's really great just to actually get an idea of like the different angles and you can like literally hold it up and like rotate the sculptures around which I think is awesome. It's easier to see all the details um, because my artwork is all in ballpoint pen and is also quite reflective as well and so is the ink on the paper you might not be able to see all the detail so I think VR definitely shows that better than real life. I can zoom in on my phone and see all of the detail because my work is made of dots so it's really a lot of detail in there and it's lovely to be able to you know not just show someone a picture but actually be able to show someone like basically the whole piece like it's great and everyone who sees it sees it like the same and it looks like it looks like how i would look at it in in person like i can feel i can feel it there it's interesting i didn't think virtual would be able to do that but it has definitely well from what i've seen today and it's there forever so when i'm 50 and i want to look back at my hsc work it's there for me to see and so that's really special i feel I definitely love it. Classic gallery spaces, you've got a distance that you have to stand away to protect the works and you don't have that obviously in virtual spaces and it's just really amazing to be able to truly see what the artists saw while they were doing everything. It's, yeah, it's great. So I have a lot of family in New Zealand so they can like see the exhibition from home without having to like come all the way over here so we really like that. My grandma's really excited. She wasn't able to go to the art gallery but she's so excited once I teach her how to use the computer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it is, it, it is not magic, it's technology. Um, we take photos with normal cameras, so photogrammetry is a process where we make 3D from that. Uh, but normal cameras, this isn't high-end 3D scanners. Um, a gallery gets built in Blender, that's a piece of open source technology, it's free. Um, 3D modeling software that we build that in, um, and it all gets delivered on the web. So you don't need to you know, download an app in the store or install it on your computer or learn how to use it or you know, if you have a web browser, you can access it. So you know, that's the, sort of the other part of our mentality is you know, one is showcasing the work as what it is and two, letting everyone see that. And I mean everyone, whether you can afford a VR device or not, whether you've got a good computer or, or an older computer. All our students in New South Wales work in isolation, even in a, a great positive year that wasn't affected by adversity. And to get to the end of any journey, and in this case in constructing a body of work that can be celebrated, is one of great euphoria, not just for the student, but for families and the connectedness with their school community. And uh, it, again, it's simply celebration of unique qualities and wonderful experiences in our uh, communities across New South Wales.